Okay. He's on his way. Don't mean I just realized there's a screen here. Too. I'm looking at this one. So we don't have to wear masks once if you're se if you're settling six feet apart. That's yeah. the protocol. It's honest, Catherine. Don't look at me like this. That's what the city told me. You're now unmasked. So you know that uh, ten days ago we had no entries. Well, that's how it goes. Every artist. I've yeah, but I was, I was really sweating. It's late. <laughs> I've been not, I mean, it's a last minute world. I mean, it's. I was really sweating it because I thought, oh my God, there's going to be, you know, we are going to be sitting with such egg on our face. And Tony was right, and there wasn't enough money. and But surely that did not You'd come to pass. You'd hate to admit I was right. But, I, I, but that did not come to pass. Make sure that you talk into the microphone because it's streaming, and that way it's the All right. Wear masks near the microphone so we don't spit on it so nobody else has to get near it. Just don't spit. Do we have, do we have a... Um, I, can, I can disinfect after the meeting. Okay. <laughs> do we have a handheld microphone because we have one more member that's coming? I don't think these will reach Barry. We can make him stand in the corner behind the flag. I don't know how, how strong the battery is, but. All right. Well, as long as, I mean, it, I mean, what do you suggest we do? Back. No, if he sits here, it'll pick up on the one we're hiding. If he talks loud. Yeah. But there's this as well. So well, here's one, too. I could move over a little bit. I could move over to the end. But putting him off the end. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. That's good. Don't get too close. Oh, not too close. Oh, move closer. No. <laughs> Give him the coffee. Next thing you read in the Cape Gazette is the whole of the PAC committee got it. Oh no. I. I didn't get my my Cape Gazette for Friday. I, I'm really worried about the mail. I'm not worried about it. I haven't gotten my Friday Cape Gazette yet. You haven't got your what? My Friday Cape Gazette didn't come Saturday, Friday or Saturday. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. We should introduce ourselves. Because I don't. There's Barry. Mr. Duncan. Yeah, I'll report out. Um, has a Here we got a spot for you. Good. That's far That's enough good. away. Those things are fun, and, and you know, and, um, we decided we were far enough away. I'll keep my head this way. We're spreading out here. That's good. I didn't think I was that late. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually come up with different ideas, and, and it works. It was a lot of fun. You were waiting to do that. Kind of. Good evening. I call this meeting to order. Whatever meeting this is, welcome back, everybody. We have a couple of new faces joining us tonight. Uh, with great sadness, Rob couldn't wait to get off this committee. <laughs> he was such a pain in the spot, right? And he, uh, he 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 executed the quick retreat, and um, st you know he stuck the new kid with the uh, with the assignment of being on this committee. I'm so I'll, sorry. I'll, I'll tell you exactly how it went down. Was, I met with Ted, and he goes, are there any committees that you'd particularly like to be interested in? And I, I brought this one to his attention. So that's actually nice. a true story. Good. Wow. Hey. So he wants to be here. Be a double-edged yeah. sword. You know, once these politicians get elected, you know, you never know. Then you'll find out what they're really like. Anyway, congratulations on your, your election, Andrew, and welcome to our committee. Um, we've had quite a, uh, we've had, t we've been together almost two years, and um, we've gone through a lot of different discussions and learning experiences, and, and uh, which we'll learn about tonight, see if, and um, 
We tend to have been a pretty, it's been a pretty good group. I mean, we've all grown a, grown a bit together and learned a lot together, and um, we expect you to be a great addition with new opinions and ideas, and, um, and hopefully, if you can be as half as helpful as Rob was, we'll be really good, we'll be really grateful. He was great. And in the back of the room, we have a representative from the Board of Public Works. Tom Owen is here as ex officio for this particular project. Uh, as you know, when we proposed this to the Board of Public Works, they were um, immediately on board, so to speak, and then officially um, said, oh, you gotta meet the committee and blah, blah, blah. And what, and what they did, which was really smart, was before I met with their board uh, committee, um, they submitted all these questions. So I just went in and answered all the questions, and I, I don't know who wrote those questions. Was that that was that you? No, no. I, I, frankly, I don't know who. But um, we were so excited because the building where it's going, which is our garage, um, we were going. That building was going to be used to house the battery company that we had we had contracted with to come in and put a monster battery in there to help us with. Um, with lowering rates around, and um, it never came to fruition. But they did come in, and they painted the building, and they put shrubbery up, and so forth and so on, but they only painted three sides. <laughs> and the uh -huh. back was not painted. So I said, absolutely. I don't care what they do, it'll be beautiful. <laughs> There you go. So the reason they jumped on is they got they got one the one side of the building that wasn't painted they're now getting painted for free. That's our board of public works and anyway so they had those I went through the uh, um, and they had really good questions and we answered them all and again it's been very positive and it's really nice to see the city and the board of public works working together as they actually share the building and um, so we like that kind of thing. I, I don't know if we have any minutes. I wasn't. I didn't put them down to look at them because we have a bit of we have we have a bit of a, some workload tonight. Yeah. And um, uh, as you know, we uh, ten days ago we had no submissions, and then over the weekend we had two, and I was feeling okay, and then um, we got a bunch more. We had a total of nine submissions, and one of them. Um, it turns out was not really a submission. I mean, we got a lot of material from the guy, and I said, well, where's your drawing? And he says, well, this is Mr. Kirby. And he yes. says, well, yeah. I, I, don't do the, I don't do the drawing unless, I mean, I wouldn't do that for free. I said, well, okay, <laughs> thanks for your submission. And, uh, you know, other people, you know, he, anyway, that was a pretty good um, indication that, um, um, we were not. He he was like a, he was a big enterprise, and, and they wanted to go around the country and facilitate these things for people. And he he wasn't really what we wanted. So we're not looking at him tonight. Mr. Kirby. Look at. Well, I mean, I he, mean, he could, didn't. Give, he gives an idea of what he does. Right, but see. he wouldn't give us a proposal for this wall without us paying him for it. So he's. So so he is not. We're um, now. Talking about what we're doing here tonight, um, we're, we're not here to judge just pretty pictures. Um, we hope in our, in our uh, process here, um, you know, what we're trying to do is, um, is create a, um, we're not so much about celebrating an image, we're here to create an event. So it's important to think about this, that what we're trying to do is create this moment when a person encounters a piece of art. So we're not trying to judge the prettiest or the sexiest or the most historic. We want something that's going to give the most bang for the buck. And I think that um, we have to think about for this particular question, you know, um, you know, who is our viewer? I mean, our viewer is someone that's going to be out there Outside, <laughs> they're gonna. It was a lot of walkers, a lot of walkers bikers. And bikers, but outside people, um, active people, um, someone who's already here in Lewis, you know. So, um, 
uh, and somebody that's, that's, that's on vacation probably out to have fun or enjoy themselves. And we want to have an impact on that person, a positive impact. Um, so we've, we've talked about, um, you know, what do we hope for in a mural? We, we, we've talked about the boom and the aha moment when you have this realization that you just saw something cool and it, it flashes on you, something that stands out, that invites instant interaction, something you can't miss because people are going to be going by at some speed. Uh, we want a piece of artwork that will create a strong response. You know, it should have some relationship to Lewis, although it's not designed to be a Lewis billboard. And so, um, we, it, we hopefully it has some personality. And so what we need to consider is the artwork, but how it's going to be framed, how it's going to be received, you know, how it will, how it will seem from far away when you're moving along it eight miles an hour for me, 25 miles an hour for, for Barry. And um, I think that, uh, so, you know, can the image be taken in quickly? And what, that's all of this is part of what we're trying to, to do to choose the image. I mean, I think we have some great images. We have plenty of good images now. Which one's the best that's going to work in the criteria of, of having an effect is what we're searching for. So um, we, we did put these online briefly over the weekend, thanks to Nick at the paper. They couldn't get it in the paper, but he says, I'll, I'll, throw, it on the, um, I'll throw it on the website and see what happens. Well, we got about, we got 12 or 14 comments, some of which I'll wow. share. Okay. Um, and, and basically, you know, um, there were people that um, sort of understood what we're doing and people that didn't, and that's probably what we should expect. Um, there were people that said, um, well, these aren't Lewis enough, you know, you need to have a historical marker of Lewis. I said, well, to me, it's, that's not what we're going for. And I, and, um, and, and we have, and we also have, you know, people, I love this one, and then this next person says, I, I like all of them except for that one. <laughs> and that's what we, that's what we want. But you got to remember who's, who are who are um, who are audiences as we go through this. Now, you all brought. That doesn't mean that we need to please our whole audience. Though. Doesn't what? That doesn't mean we need to please everyone. No, we no. won't. Yeah. We, we, don't. Everyone. We, are, we do not. We do not want to please everyone. We'd rather have a piece of art that creates a dialogue, like and dislike and create that kind of, because uh, that's what we've talked about before. You missed this part of our discussion, but the focus of building a community is, is dialogue. And, and um, if everybody likes the same thing, there's no need for dialogue, and it's boring, and it doesn't really do much. And so if there's some dissension, then you, uh, you, you enjoy it, and you, you appreciate it, and you ask that other point of view, and you learn in the Hegelian method, and we all go forward a little more educated, and um, and that's what we're trying to do is educate everybody. So, it is we are, we are not looking for the lowest common denominator and keeping the most people happy, because because that's you know we've had that discussion. So what we're going to do is we're going to discuss each one individually. Um, we will discuss um, the nature of it, its materials. Um, it's, uh, I'm, if you looked at the background materials, you've seen the, you know, other work that people did, you know, do, can we relatively expect this work to be tuned in uh, and, and done on time? And, um, you know, the image that you see here is probably like not going to look like the image that's going to be the final image because a lot of these are small drawings and most of these pieces will be done, you know, with, you know, different materials. Um, so we're going to talk about the expectation. Um, uh, we're talking about it, so its feasibility, its timeliness, and the professionalism, and um, also you know the value of the image, of course. But um, I'm going to try and do you know one at a time, and then we're going to fill out our ballots for that piece and pass them to um, to our newest member. Um, did you bring ballot? I did bring one, but my, my understanding is that we, we don't participate in the, in the Don't get to vote. We're like Arthur Anderson or whatever. Right. <laughs> we're, we're, I was told we're ex officio, which right. means you just sit and watch. Right. But you can, but 
I, you can uh, comment. I brought Sorry. one for you to look we're, at if you want. Well, I guess we can comment. Yeah. All right. So yes, we, we invite your comments, that. and that's that's in the discussion period. That's our plan. Does that sound like a good plan for everybody? Well, they've all seen them, honey. They've had the material for a couple of days. So we're in good shape. The first one, there's some that um, there's a lot of background on and some maybe not so much. Can we flip through them? Because I, it's hard to All right, let's flip through them. Catherine's idea is well received. Uh, we, we spent some time on the Osprey, so this is the next one here. Do you want me to turn some lights down? I can see them. I mean, I know what they but yeah. All right. So can we full screen that? Can we have the name of the office when as we're going through the slides? That is Madison Bacon. I call that one Dunes and Shoes. <laughs> that one is Berenson. I call that one the billboard. Yeah. That one the is uh, right? de Messrières, and that is pretty interesting. We're going to talk about that one. The next one is uh, Vassar. Her name is Vassar, and yeah, and then that one. Is is Confer the guy named Chris Confer, the Keith Kyle. Herring kind of Kyle. thing? Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. And his on that one. Let's, if we can go back to that one just once, um, he would not be. This is uh, an appropriation of another piece he's already done. He would do Lewis icon iconography here. So what you would see is all these scenes of Lewis. Not yeah, he said he kind of as he right. gets there. And then. Uh, oh, that's. And we did that. That's um, Madison Bacon. Then, then um, we're, we've done that one. We're gonna keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We're missing a few. What do you call this one? <laughs> 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 that's that's from the, that's from the Cape Gazette. This is a movie which we'll get through later. And then oh. We don't have the clothes line. We did it. I saw it. Yeah, I think the clothesline is maybe up at the top. Uh, that is Alexei. Um, I go up one. Just go up one. I'm pretty, I think that's it. Yeah, that one. And that's the clothesline. Okay. Well, there it is. So. Boy fishing. And which one? The boy fishing. The boy fishing. The boy fishing. Oh yeah. Uh, that one was kind of cool. <laughs> I think going down that is that's wish. Clever. That's that the, that's the one that says wish. It should yeah, be in the, it's, it's at the very bottom. Huh? It's unexpected. Wish. Right. See it? I can't believe I can read that because I can't. This one. Realistic, yeah. What's that one called? Wish. Uh, wish uh, we call, I called that one boy fishing. Uh, the guy's name is uh, Christopher something. He goes by Wish. His name was company. His name is um, his name is Christian Kalenberg. All right. So let's start with. Um, which one do you want to start with? I don't care. Let's, let's start with, uh, let's go back to where you were just were, and we'll start with the, uh, the aluminum lady, de Maizière. This is the movie. Now, what you can't see from that picture is that all of these, pe all of these little things on here are individual pieces of um, tin, or aluminum, and they're painted. And so, when she does this, it's on a. It's very. It was very. I had to call her to understand what she's doing. It was. Uh, it was on a, a piece of uh, concave mesh, 
So they actually hang, and if you can play that movie, uh, and, and make it a little bigger, there you go. You can see there's some sound. I don't know whether you can get the sound up. Well, uh, what she's, this is like with, within a, like a three mile an hour breeze. These, these would be painted different colors. They would hang, that's a, that's a fishing line connector. And they would hang from a, 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 a wire mesh and they would move in the they would move in the light with a slight breeze. I mean, it could be there's a video in that you saw of one of the pieces. It wouldn't be exactly this piece. It's really a sculptural piece as well as a mural kind of both. Oh. Is what yeah. you're saying. And it's a sound piece, or sound I don't know how much sound it would be over there, but it, you, yeah, probably would. I don't know if the aluminum tinkles or clicks. But the reason it's this small is that's all she could do for $5,000. You know, if you want to give her $50,000, she'll do the whole building. And it wouldn't touch, if it doesn't touch each other, I don't think it would make any, well. Well, they will touch each other. This is just, I said, I, I just need to see what you're using. She would probably cut them in diamonds. Okay. And. Well, here's another part of the, of the, she hasn't made this yet. Well, I figured she hadn't made this, but has she made something like this? She hasn't really made anything exactly like this. She likes to do new and different things all the time. So, um, and in the meantime, two days ago, she got a commission. So she says, well, I'll have, you know, I'm gonna be working on that one for the next three weeks and I'll have some more pictures for you. I said, well, um, I felt that although this is a really interesting and cool idea, um, I'm not sure that's the kind of thing you stumble on and really want to stare at and let it work on you and move on you. And I don't know. I mean, what do you what do you think about that as appropriate? It does well. The fact that. We can't afford to have her cover the whole wall as a problem, too. I think. Well, well, I think that exists as it's between one the, the two. Thing, one of the things that I, I think about is whatever's on that building is something that you want people to see and experience at 10 or 12 miles an hour. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of bikers. I mean, I know there's a lot of walkers, but there's a lot of bikers. And that's... That's a really big, big, big audience that I think you need to think about. And I don't think that you want necessarily a sculptural piece where you're going to have a congregation of people standing there and looking at it. Um, I think it'll, that would kind of create a, a problem on the trail with people passing by. I mean, I think you could stand on the other side and look at it, but I wouldn't want to create something that created the need for people to stand around and look at it for a long time. The it's other thing I think is, mind. Barry, I mean, I totally agree with you, but um, because we can't afford for her to make a piece that would occupy at least two thirds of the wall, it really is pretty insignificant. Well, you don't know if it, I think this image is hard too. Can you pass around that image? That one looks like it's much brighter than that one. I mean, I don't think it's going to get noticed by bikers. Well, I, I don't. I don't. I think it's more of a what was that as they ride by. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what I was thinking. I mean, I, I I'm kind of thinking like all of us. For a few years. Um, well, no, no, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking like suppose you made one of these things that was only this wide and went up and down and up and down and up and down. Maybe that's a candidate for the wall around the- Fence. The fence wall around the board of the, around the- um, sewage The sewage plant, which we were thinking about as a place for a piece of art. And that way, it'd be really low, you'd be right next to it, you wouldn't be so far away. Because I'd want to be closer to it. Yeah, it yes. doesn't look totally intentional there. It looks like it might have been left over, or maybe it's on its way to be, but you're not sure if it's- Okay, are we ready to fill out our questionnaire? We're gonna do this for everyone. Yep.
Which one is she? Yeah, it's a spring copy. I didn't know it was a spring copy. Well, I tried to print it out and it didn't work very oh, well. I supposed to bring nine picture. copies. Huh? Nine copies. This is Messier. Okay. How do you spell that? M E S S I E R S N. Can we get one and get a M? Get a more. Because I tried to print it out and it. We could just use a piece of paper. It didn't work well. There you go. You're right. You don't need to have the whole sheet. You need to. All you need to do is put the numbers down. Even though I slaved over the sheet. I'm sure you did. I just. Yeah, could we? Could we? Could we? You uh, want us to yeah, give do, you one for each, each one? For each 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 entry. So we're gonna need who doesn't bring them? Just you two. I. Okay, we need eighteen copies. I mean, that's how I print it out. Yeah, I've, I've gotten high. I'm, I'm fine. Um, you two, you're going to talk about this. What did you want to say? Well, I'm thinking of it, unfortunately, from not from an art standpoint, but from my my ex officio career in insurance. And, and those things hang around, and we don't, we have winds here that aren't like three miles an hour. And the next thing I can see is one of those things flying off and hitting a piper in the face, and then we got some serious problems. Hmm. Good point. Next. <laughs> so that was just, it's sorry. Like this, this old material, isn't it? Yeah. That's how we end here. Mm -hmm. You don't want our names on them or anything. Yeah, I think you should put your initials on them. In case we want to change one later. Messier, Messier is, and this, I'm just going to call this one the um, Kinetic. I don't know. All right. Just to put it, turn it upside down. And so we're going to move on to the next one. Next one that we have is, and you want to do the uh, Berenson, which is the, Berenson there. No, we can do that one. Let's do that one. Who is this? This is Madison Bacon. Bacon. I don't have a... No, 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 no. She's Dunes and Shoes. This is Vassar. Her name is Vassar. I don't have, I don't have anything. I don't have a sheet for her. Oh, yeah. oh here. I, I, can, I have one. Spell it again. V-A-S-S-A-R. All right. So I... Um, in this particular contestant or entry, I mean, she has done some artwork... Um, over the past 15 years, but more illustrations. I did not see any large-scale murals in her history. Did, every, did everybody read through her history in her yeah. CV? Mm -hmm. Did anybody else see anything big? She, um, she didn't submit a budget. Um, and I'll, I just will ask you about the image. Can anybody tell me what this is? Boring. No, it looks like it's graphic, graphic to me, and it, it. Well, it looks see through in this image, and it's, it looks, looks like, like a grill. It can't be see through. Well, or I guess you could do transparent colors over white. If you read her um, letter, um, she wanted this to be reflective, like a stained glass window. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I thought it was a bunch of vines, and I think she sort of doodled on the on the on the big axe, and saw where that led her. Uh, anybody want to talk about this one? I don't think anybody. Anybody want to say something nice about this one? It covers, it covers the whole wall. <laughs> that sounds like a politician. It, it, it probably wouldn't kill anyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a politician. All right. So, um, 
All right. You could make it do what it's doing. It might be kind of cool if, if it was off the wall and you could see through it, but that's not what it's going to be. <laughs> that's exactly how it worked. Uh, in, some, in some respect, three dimensional? Is it like raw iron? What is, what is she making? It's, cool. it's painted. And I, I found it, I mean, I couldn't tell what it was studying it. So if you're driving by and you only got a second to look over, it won't have that standout response. It's, there's no call and response because this is this is more an internalized, reflective kind of surface. Like it's a background kind of thing. Yeah, right. I don't. I well, I, this is our inaugural effort, and I just think whatever we choose needs to elicit an instantaneous reaction, whether it's a smile or a grimace or what was that, or I want to go back and look at it, but something, this to me just is not very powerful. Or okay. It, okay. It's, it's, it's a ho-hum piece for me. Okay. We, we have trouble responding to it. We need to all score of this. I agree. I think we should score them all. If you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the, mean, you mean? The, 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 the person spent the time and effort sure. submitting to us, and the, I think they deserve our respect to, for, sure. for making the effort. And um, I don't. <laughs> what were they thinking? I, I mean. All right. And this is, the lady's name is Vassar. Mm -hmm. All right, and there's my Vassar piece. All right, I'm getting, we're doing the easy ones first. Oh, is that right? Okay. Which one do you want? Yeah, let's do this one. Who is this? This is Kyle Confer. Does anybody want to speak for this one? This one really jumps out at you. I feel like everybody would want to come and look at it more and more and more because they'd want to see what's, oh, look, it's the Swanendale, or oh, look, that's in there, or there's the tulips, and we have, to, you know, I feel like they'd want to look, come back to it and see what else is in there, or when they went by okay. again, they would see something else. It's a lot more interesting for me mm -hmm. than, than the previous. <laughs> and it's also unusual. It's not so... Lewis that we would be like, oh, there is, oh, it's so Lewis. It's like, oh, it's Lewis, but they've turned it on its head. It's like the, it reminds me of like a combination of like a Keith Haring and the keep on trucking guy, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, who was from Delaware, by the way, who drew that comic. Um, but I, I think if it had Lewis icons, it could be really fun. I also really like the black and white. Yeah. I it, agree. It jumps, it'll just totally yeah. jump. I, I don't yeah. think it's necessary to emphasize in a different color the, the uh, metal work that it has to remain there. Yeah, yeah but I kind of like it. That little, like, little pop of something. Mm -hmm. But I, the, the worst thing, as far as I'm concerned, is the last line in his budget, which says something like the cost of the mural is between $5 and $10 a square foot, which equates to either $6,720 or $13,440. That's just, that's just how he's looking at it. I mean, that yeah, he's, he's we need to ascertain, if, if we like this, we need to ascertain that he can get in within the budget that we've set. Sure. We also don't know what he's going to put up there. Which yeah. I think is okay to leave some artistic. Sure. Yeah, I mean, and I'm fine with well, that. Well, is it going to look like Lewis? Well, it's going to look like that. Do you feel like that looks like Lewis? No. Well, well but you mean looks like the Alps. Well, yeah, but if you just have like a tower, you may have the towers from here. may have a Swanendale image like that. I, yeah, it may. But so we don't know. Won't have a, well, yeah, but I, have I a think that as, as far as what he does, if he's doing it in the context of this openness and closeness, and he's going to use different images. I mean, you can, you can tell pretty much what it's going to look like. I don't think that you're going to like or dislike it over the quality of the reproduction of the Zwanendale Museum within you know, the context. Somewhere in Colorado or something? What? Oh, I don't know where this one was. 
Well, and I was actually trying to make this one work for us. I was like, it's the diamond state, and there's a tulip. There you go. Yeah. Like, yeah. This works. Yeah, right. That works. I was telling we had pirates. <laughs> I was like, well, is that a dune or an elf? I don't know. It's fine. Well, it's... Um, I think the I th also think it you know it, it definitely would be fun, and it would look like somebody tagged it, which is what we want. We want that kind of energy, you know. We don't we don't want this stayed kind of you know we're not hanging a painting on the side of the you know in the living room here. And there's a, I think the energy that this gives off is is fun, and you're talking to the people that are outside riding their bikes, and they're looking at energy, and they're not you know they can relate. So um, I think it's. Um, I do feel like that he's going to paint this with. Um, I think he said maybe it takes him a week. And two weeks, he said. Yeah, two weeks. Mm -hmm. But I think it's you know it's going to be done with you know spray paint, and um, I'm not. I'm not worried about this coming in under budget. There's other ones I do worry about, but not this one. Um, I could. Really, do we have to worry about that? We don't. And well, we have to worry about that it will be finished. And of course, they don't get paid. Right. And we have enough money to paint it over if they only get halfway done. <laughs> and so I'm not totally, I'm, I'm more concerned about some timeline issues. But uh, I think this would be kind of a, I think this is a, a um, this is one we should score again. And this is called, um, is yes. Tom, anything to say? There you go. All right. I think it could be interesting. I I, think it's so. just the unknown of not having the exact image. Right. So I'm sure it's uncomfortable to some of us. I mean, I would think if an artist was doing this and we knew. He said, no, he actually says some of this will come out of like what the weather's like the day I'm painting it. And if I see a flower, there's going to be a flower in there. And if I see an osprey, I'll make an osprey in there. It, it, he, he developed out of his experience with Lewis is yeah. what he's and saying, he, he, which is kind of cool. And he says, and, and, and part, of his, uh, part of his process is always to leave plenty of space for the creativity of the moment. Yeah. So. Well, John, he's done many different versions of this, so I feel like he's... He's got his own vocabulary. Yeah. I don't think we, I don't personally think we have to worry that much about that. That we're not right. Right. Yeah. I talked to him, he seemed like a pretty straight up guy. Um, I, mean, I, I really like, I, I would, I like this one. Well, our, our goal tonight is to get down to three finalists, okay. according to Barry's system, which is I think is really going to be good. And then uh, my thinking was I will contact them all to make sure and, and I present them with a, with a contract that they have to approve. And if they're all okay with the contract, then we have to let, then we let them know at the next meeting. Um, so um, this guy's name is Confer. And I, what do you want to call it? Black and white? I just called it local landmarks, sir. We want to call, call it all it the same. Local landmarks, black and white. Yeah. All right. That's what I called it. It's nice, to, yeah, it's nice. Lewis it could use an edge. <laughs> Just a little bit of an edge. It's kind of nice. Not yeah. too far. It's not like we have a, you know, I could see where the edge would be too far. All right. We know what this one's called. Postcard? <laughs> Billboard. Yeah. All right, so let's t somebody talk about the billboard. Tony, why don't you start? Why me? <laughs> All right. I hate it. I'll start it. It's a little trite. Yeah. Trite. I hate it. Go ahead. Denise? Ditto. It almost look it old, looks... It's old-fashioned. Which has this been called? Lewis Billboard. No, but I mean the person. Uh, Chase Berenson. 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 Yeah. To me, it almost looks amateurish. 
I mean, I mean, I read read his submission, and I thought he seemed relatively inexperienced, and I think this demonstrates that. I totally. I mean, basically, the biggest wall that I think he's made on the outside is this shed. Yeah. So yeah. putting uh, our whole wall in this guy's hands is, is, a, is a bit of a risk. Uh, I feel like he just doesn't, like he wants to be retro, but doesn't quite go to an understandable retro. To me, it's like, it's like the postcards that you get, you buy at the mm -hmm. store. Yeah, the t-shirts that are spray painted. And then I have to tell you guys, this was the most popular one from the public. I am sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it, it, it's like. But I definitely think you should go with the black and white one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because it, that's what they expect. The people yeah. are inclined to comment, yeah. and they're and they're used, to, and that's what they're used to. But they're also they they think this is a billboard for. They think a, a mural is 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 some sort of an advertisement yeah. for Lewis, and it should be about Lewis. And no, that's and that's not what we're trying to do. Which hopefully, in the discussion that will come out. I think it's a really good point that they make, and a really good point that we have to address, you know, diplomatically, and hopefully make that kind of educational leap. That hey, this isn't a, totally understand why so many people like this, because if we were doing that X, this would be the right thing. But you know, well, buy those t-shirts. Right. I almost feel like it should yeah. say welcome. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. Welcome yes. to. Yeah. Okay. I feel the same way about that that I feel about the uh, lighthouse out on the highway there. Oh yeah. Uh, like yeah. that. Thank you. It, it, it is funny that um, we're in favor of the classic and appropriate Lewis mural with Lewis flowers and the silhouette of the Overfalls. We're not in favor of the clothesline with someone's personals displayed. <laughs> Oh, people hate clotheslines. <laughs> All right. Um, um, let's, let's uh, this one we'll, we'll call. I'm just writing the names down on my sheets, not the yeah. title. What's the name? Berenson. Berenson. Yeah. What's this, Berenson? This is big. It's horseshoe crabs. I think this one's very expected, but interesting. Uh, Next. Madison Bacon. Madison Bacon. All right, Carol. You like Come on, now you can bacon. do better than that. This is Madison We'd Bacon. Well, and like it's it? like the March of the Penguins or something. <laughs> like, you know, um, and, and the dunes are mountainous. No, she's, she's listening into the meeting, so let's be serious, and because and, it's a public meeting and, and everybody can dial in, so. She's being serious. <laughs> do you have anything else you want to say about it? I don't think I don't think I didn't not like it. I didn't. F I, I do mean, like the the ospreys up there at the top. <laughs> I like the way I really I like the way that the um that that the horseshoe crabs fly away, and I think that's kind of this magical realism is really yeah. thematically relative at this moment. Yeah. And the colors are fun, but they're not normal. I didn't know what to call it. Magical realism. Yeah. And I, I like the colors. I think the colors are. And but I haven't seen those kind of mountains in Sussex County. Oh, that's. <laughs> anyway, but I don't think that's a. Do we have to have the mountains? Yeah, I, I think it might. Uh, it, it's 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 an image which is kind of interesting and and. Um, and I like the colors. Let's grade it. All right. 
scale. All right, Madison, thank you very much. All right. This all red. This had um, this also shared the most popular image from the public response. Uh, it's a and here's a comment from Olivier McDonald. Too many wonderful works proposed for the L to G trail. We need more cultural community-based pieces in this area. No better way to kick it off than with the osprey. The colors, the native plants, and the use of existing metal is fantastic. It would get my vote. Uh, I feel an osprey on the platform best represents our area because it's known for its, Lewis is known for his love of nature. <laughs> We build on it. <laughs> and what would we be without our wonderful Cape and Lopez State Park? Uh, this color scheme would flow nicely with the natural landscape and that portion of the trail. Um, and I'd like to I'd like to commend the Lewis Public's Art Committee for this great idea and encouraging the public to participate. Don't pick it. <laughs> now opportunity. I, I mean, I got to tell you that, I mean, I thought, the, I, I like the idea. And when I talked to her, her thinking was the, uh, I mean, the, yeah, the thinking was that this osprey is sitting in a, um, you know, out at the uh, uh, on the lighthouses where you have like the metal towers. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to use that tower to be an, an osprey perch. But then a prickly pear wouldn't be there. It probably, he's got the osprey on the ground and sitting on a branch on the ground because that's where the prickly pear cactuses are. One thing that's interesting, I want you to look. It's a montage of stuff. Did, did you guys, it's a real. No. Did you guys look at the, um, at the other images with the submission? Because this is a drawing you did with a paintbrush. When he works on a wall and it looks like this, it's a lot cooler image. Did you guys look at, see these? You know? I, mean, I would make some other comments too about the actual proposal or the submission. First of all, he lives in Lewis. Secondly, he plans to involve students to help him. Um, his budget was really good. It, it, it meets our criteria. And it covers the whole wall, which not all the submissions did by any stretch of the imagination. Well, you know, respectfully, if, if you had the size of the image and the in impact are not necessarily always the same. I, I wasn't looking at the the actual image in making those comments. I was looking at the the proposal. written proposal. Um, okay. Comment. Comments. An osprey is a marsh hawk. <laughs> They're near, uh, they're usually near water, and... And you are... Are you being 70 yards from the canal? But the prick, it's the prickly pear that's doing it for me. If you had some water way in the background or some marsh grasses or something, it's a different thing for me. I like him on the perch. I like the osprey. <laughs> but on... You know, like the whole think of those as, as think of that as a montage of objects. You're thinking of it as a picture. It's not a picture. It's a montage of things that represent Lewis. The, he's the a, prickly pear he's a, cactus and the. He's, and the a he's a fish hawk. I, I just. But the other thing is like because the prickly pear and because the osprey, there is water close. Like because those two things are there, water is close. So that's water's in the back. That. Look at the below. There it is. Oh, we have. The other thing is, I, I mean, I thought that when I first saw it, I was like, oh. I mean, I like that it's connected to graffiti in some ways. Like, it does look like it was on a wall, and maybe it was hired, or maybe it wasn't hired to be there. But also, the color scheme is really different for Lewis, which I kind of liked. Mm -hmm. That it kind of went outside of our blues. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, yes. Birds. And it, you know, we know it's an osprey, but I, I mean, look, it could be a hawk, it could be an eagle. I mean, it's a bird. It's a bird. Well, he is a hawk. I mean, he, to, he, yeah. but he's a bird of prey, but I don't think we need to know for somebody who doesn't know this area. It's got a white head. Um, well, I mean, look, look at that beak. He's a bird. What? He's a bird of prey. <laughs> it could be an eagle, though. It could be a bald eagle. So, um, it could be his uh, representation of a bald okay. eagle. Aside from the image, bald eagle. I just. Aside from the image, it's hey, look. The thing about after that, I thought the, the, the cactus sort of threw me off and threw, took me to a desert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I would think maybe like a yucca plant would have been. But I, I have. I, a, like, I do like this one. I do a few things to comment on, though, that um, we haven't gone to. One is we have a little issue. Um, this guy thinks that we can paint the wall for $400 and prime it for him, which we can't. Um, that that was... Um, I was asked for how much it would cost, and she told me 400 and then I asked the guy who actually was going to paint it, it was 2700 It would be what? 2700 So we have, we're going to have a... And I thought he quoted me on the dimensions that were there, but he de he quoted me on a 15 by 15. Program. So that's going to be one issue. The other thing I was thinking about in um, the context of this color scheme, when you are looking uh, from the bike path and you've got the trees and you've got the dirty, I'm wondering if this has the jump out power of an image that you will actually see it when you're doing 10 miles an hour or is it kind of going to blend in because it kind of blends a little bit? I, I also, like you, am a little, I mean, if this is what people want, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, but, it, but I, have the, I have the question about the, the, the imagery not, not actually sitting, that someone's, you know, the, the osprey should be up high and the, yeah. and the other stuff should be down low. And, and, yeah. But, I, I mean, that's not the, a major thing. Um, but I do feel like that it might when painted, and then the other thing is his timeline. I mean, he's guaranteeing he's gonna have it done September 15th, and then he's also talking about maybe getting some students involved, and maybe doing this, and maybe doing that, which makes me think uh, he could be more of a wishful, I mean, I mean, I don't know whether, I mean, when the guy says, I'll be there on Tuesday, and I'm gonna have it done by Friday noon, and, I'm, and, I'm, and this is how we do it, boom, boom, boom. Um, this guy is works for the, um, um, he's done in, in, inside stuff and some outside stuff at, at one level. He's never done anything high that I know of. And, um, I mean, he's, he's a real nice fellow. He called me earlier and asked lots of questions. And I, I think the, um, you know, the one picture, you know, down here where you can, where you can see it from a distance, it looks pretty cool. I'm just wondering when you're looking at the, at the from the bike rack, how that would feel, um, and I, you know, again. So um, I'm a little worried. About, I'm a little worried about his, his being able to produce it on time and on, and in budget. Only that um, he. Um, he's got to judge that. Yeah, he said he's going to. Uh, I could. I would, I would consider that part of the he's the question only, number three. Yeah, but he, that's he's the only not. one who actually priced the cost of a lift into his proposal. And um, I believe. Okay. Um, I think it will look slightly different than this picture. Yeah, it's going to look more like the wall picture. I mean, so anyway, I. I would say that you know we all have to just make our own minds up and 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 grade it. Now.
Everybody finished their score sheets? Alexi. Um, we also, we had, we had also a lot of comments that liked both this one and the fishing boy, several. Um, and this is interesting. She says, either of these designs would be a whimsical and cheerful Lewis welcome for bicyclists, but it would not cause them to lose their concentration while riding on the bike trail. <laughs> That was Elaine Zimmerman. You know, a, and what would cause them to lose their concentration? I, um, a naked lady. That's the only thing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> or, or a naked man. Yeah. Come on, don't be sexist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I guess she's pulling for no na nudity on her. I, I, we have, you know, we have to get through that through the board of public. Is, so, is, is nudity allowed uh, for the board of public works? <laughs> okay, we have a definitive answer. Spoken like an engineer. But undies on the line are fine. <laughs> Depending on how much you would like it, it doesn't matter. We would be in deep trouble. <laughs> so I want to read a little bit of her statement. This also, um, uh, and this person, he came to Lewis, he spent two days here. Yeah, he walked Walking around, trail. taking pictures, and... He said, uh, while I was walking, I watched the different people in the different ages and bikes and running and walking, and but all of them and really enjoying the moment of being outdoors. And they shared with me the love of the area and the town. And it was, um, you know, he was really hot that day. And he says, and I was already sweating profusely, and I longed for a fresh ocean breeze. So the thoughtfulness of being on a bicycle where you're sweating and you're hot, and this idea of this, I mean, the breeze in here is refreshing. I mean, it's a really nice thought. Uh, he basically said he was trying to make a connection with the elements, the summer vibe, and the relaxing feel of an ocean resort town. Uh, it's a refreshing reminder of the wind, water, and activities that Lewis is known for. Um, and, um, and other... Kite board sales. Mm -hmm. They what? They're kite board sales. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, Does everybody know what that is? Yeah. 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 Okay. We're from Lewis. Well, I know, but I, I just <laughs> I didn't recognize it at first. I mean, and this is uh, yeah. the whimsical and cheerful stuff. I really like that kind of feedback, and I thought he was, I thought he was very thoughtful. Um, the other notes I had on him, he's got a very strong recipe. He works for DCCA. Uh, he has um, um, done, he got an arts residency program from Delaware Division of the Arts a couple of years ago. Um, so I think he's, you know, he's got some pedigree, which would always look good if we happen to, you know, be showing the off what we're doing and Carol's trying to get some money. Some money. Um, I think that, uh, you know, like some of these, there's a question is how do we know what we'll get at the end? Um, we might be able to suggest some alternative colors. I would not ever tell the artist to repaint his image. This is his project and his what, we're not trying to paint the house. I really feel strongly that if an artist has put this together, that's his sense of balance and his sense of color. I get that. that uh, I, I just thought this was... I can't even see how... I can't see red, so I don't even see half this stuff. <laughs> I, would, I, I would have them take all red out of all the painters if I could. I, I like the movement in this painting yeah. or in this design. Um, for me, it isn't static at all, and I, I think he conveys a lot of the sense, the vibe of Lewis in this. I also think it's a nice surprise if you're on the bike path. It's colorful. I mean, to me, this is the kind of thing that our first project, like it or not, it's it's colorful. It's there. It speaks to everybody. Offensive to anybody. Oh, yeah. Don't say that. I, 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 well, someone won't like the bathing suit tops or something, but or the the uh, kiteboard things. But it's it's. Um, 
it's you would take notice of it. I, do, I don't think you'd ride by this. I think it would make you smile. I think when it would make you smile too. Down the path. I think it would make you smile. Definitely. I think the people that would be most offended with it are not likely to be out on the bike path. Yeah. What's the, uh, do we know what the white is at the bottom? That's the top of the uh, Those are the housing, that's, that's, yeah. a, that's, that's stuff we got, we have to talk, we have to make a little, we have to talk to the um, Lewis and Bloom people. A lot of stuff piled up in front of them, I believe. Is, is that Lewis and Bloom stuff piled up in front of the fence over there? It could be, because we're renting to them, yeah. Right. Or not renting, I mean, we're giving them stuff. Right. Yeah, maybe they can. They might be able to lower that a little bit and make an extra pile or two. Um, and I, I got somebody, somebody else that wrote about. The, she wrote me. I, I don't have it right in front of me. Damn it. Um, she, she, she said, you know, "This is. I've never seen that kind of thing with a clothesline in Lewis." And I said, "You know." Oh, come on. I live in Lewis Beach, and, and I saw that same clothesline with the bathing suits on. Right. I mean, yeah. almost every day, all yeah. summer. And I was like, and she says, she says, you'll never see that in Lewis. That's really inappropriate. Oh, but it's so subtle the way he, the artist wrote Lewis, Delaware on the T-shirt. Instead of co the contrast that with the billboard, which is so in your face. It's I, very I, well I, thought out. Yeah, it really is. All right, let's. Like a lot of people don't know. They'll still smile. Yeah. I, I, I just, I can't imagine anybody. I don't know anybody that wears those kind of shorts. <laughs> well, I think they're meant to be um, swimming. No, they're, they've got, what do you call, lifeguard shorts. Yeah. And that's why I thought it might be more appropriate if they were the correct color. So I, I thought they were cargo pants. I just think it's very happy. Yeah, yes. yeah I agree with that. Yeah. All right. Let's fill it. What's his name? Natcher. Alexi. We're on a first name basis. He's called me so many times. Did he submit a budget? He did submit a budget. Yeah, okay. But he's so concerned and he's thought this out so much. Yeah, he he put a lot of I, I don't, uh, and, and his profession, you know, where the hell is his budget? Does anybody else have all the file? Hey, well, anyway, if he's one of the finalists, I'll talk to him about his budget. Okay, so we score him? Let's score him. You'll, you can make somebody else do it for you, Barry, because you're so damn lazy. I mean, I didn't do it. Math was not a good subject for me. <laughs> we have a calculator. Bring it, bring it over. I'll, 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 I'll add it up. I might change a few numbers while I'm doing it. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, I, he, he didn't give a time frame or a budget, but you know, I guess that you cover that. I'll cover that with him. I, I know. What, and in talking about it, I'm, I. Um, yeah. I, I keep feeling like I missed, maybe I missed a page because he's so thorough about everything else. Because um, I thought his time frame was a little long. So, all right, I'm definitely, I'll get that as a piece of paper from him. Um, the last one. Um, is the um, fishing boy? This is wish. This guy. This guy says he can do this mural in two days. <clears throat> do the whole lot. And he is a. He's a real pro. Um, he basically gets spray cans and big long um, sticks and. The only thing that would be hand painted would be the boy. Um, he would 
probably need to paint the two days to paint the uh, the gesso on it first. Um, one thing about this fellow, he's also been chosen for the um, one at the ferry. For one of the one, the one at the ferry, and um, I did talk to him about that without revealing because he's under contract not to reveal the image. Um, uh, what he's doing here has nothing to do with what he's doing over there, and the one over there is a ten foot by ten foot like undersea thing. Um, but, you know, he's good. He's got a company. They get involved in a lot of sculptural. I mean, they, they, he does events. He does stage work. Um, and he'll, he's down here this week. Um, I thought it was a very clever use of the... Um, the grid work. The bird, yeah. Um, it reminds me of the DreamWorks. You know, those yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Steven, Steven Spielberg. It reminds me of that a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think it's... Um, I mean, that's a girl and... I don't know. Anyway. I do think that um, the, um, um, the usefulness of the... Um, um, you know, if, if if we're giving these guys points on creativity and and you know using which we are, I think that um, uh, the last two really had a, a, a really exceptional use of taking this idea. Remember, we talked about do we cut that stuff off, Tom? And you say no. If we let the artist deal with it, I think this uh, instead of being problematic, it's actually was stimulating for some artists. Mm -hmm. So well, it was good that we did that. Um, Denise, what do you think about this guy? I, I like it. Um, I wish, I wish, the boy was a little brighter. Um, he his shorts or whatever his pants kind of blend into the clouds. I wish he was he just had a little more color to him. But it does remind me a great deal of the DreamWorks thing. Um, but. Again, I think this would bring a smile to people's face when they see it. Um, well, ask the question, what is he fishing for? You know, you Take a look at this image. It's, not, it's, it, it's, it, it's really simple and thus very effective. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the color's much better here. The color's much, much better. And, and you know, he appropriated that image from somewhere. Yeah. I mean, he says, you want your grandkids, you want your grandkids picture on it? I said, no, 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 that'll start a war. So everybody here has got a grandkids. But, you know, so he, he said, you know, I mean, this is, you know, two days to paint it white. And then if the weather's right, he, he can have that done by September 7th. I where it is. I think it's too much, too much stuff. Barry, what do you think? I go back and forth with it. I, I, I like it, and I think about riding by on the bike. I'll see it, I'll smile, and I'll keep going. I'm not going to want to stop and look at it and analyze it. I, it it kind of is what it is, but it, it makes me react. Um, and I think people walking by it will... We'll feel the same way. People walking by will go. Same with the clothesline. Oh. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. it's it's un it's unoffensive. I mean, it's I don't know how you could look at this and not smile. And doesn't everything? Fishing. I, I mean, fishing is a big part of Lewis. Yeah. yeah. I have to say that I'm more inclined to give it to someone who's an artist who doesn't have a company. Doesn't work. Doesn't, work. doesn't have a company. Okay. Um, <laughs> Like, I'm like, it doesn't matter, but in the same way, I'm like, I feel like some of the other artists would appreciate it in a different way than some. Uh, I think that you might be misinterpreting his company because he's, you know, he would do this all by himself. I mean, he worked, this, I work. this, this wish group is a collective, and so okay. they all bring people in to do different things. I, I like the surreal part of it, and I think it's sort of like a wishing and summer and vacation and dreamy. I don't want to use dreamy because that's dream works. But, but
but it is. It's like, oh, uh, come on, who's the guy that um, did the King Cole bar up in New York? You know, the the the, the, the illustrator, the um, ch uh, ch chess, um, where he's always had like the King Cole and the fairies and the gardens and everything was kind of soft and wifty and, And we saw a painting of his when we were in Philadelphia, all of us did, because we were all together. We went into that building and there was a such and such painter, except you weren't, such and such painting. Remember it was like in front of the, the we went to that little park and then we went inside a building and there was a mural on the back wall inside. Um, oh yeah, the, and it had water, the water garden thing. I thought that was yeah. tile. Uh, was no, there's a painting, right? Yeah, and there was on that back wall. But there was a painting on the back. Yeah. Anyway. I don't remember who the artist was. Parish. Yes. Yeah, Maxwell Parish. Maxwell Parish. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's got kind of that soft thing. Yeah, it does, exactly. And it's, and it's like a Norman Rockwell kind of guy on a Maxwell Parish painting. Yeah. All right, let's grade, uh, oh, can I, uh, all right, let's, let's grade this one. Our secretary does. Give them to our secretary. All right, so let me ask a question. I'm going to go around the room now. We've all graded everything, so we can't change anything. Between this one and the last one, who likes this one more? I scored them the same. I scored who them likes the, the last same. One? No, I didn't score them the exactly same. Exactly the same? How are yes. you going to make a choice? Okay, so now, okay, great. Slightly higher. Yeah, that's how we make a choice. Yeah. yeah, but let's just say, okay, let's just say it's the end of the day. Okay, so you have to choose between the two of them. Tony, which one would you choose? I graded the clothesline higher, but this was my second. They're, they're I scored them the same, but I would, I would go for the clothesline because I think it grabs you more. Okay, because, I mean, that's sort of important. If we, if, we, if, we, if we grade everything the same, we're kind of... I didn't grade the ourselves. others the same as no. these. How about you, Bear? I came out two points difference. It's higher. Uh, actually, the fishing boy came out higher. Uh, 36 and 38. I have 38 and 38. I have 46 and 42. I had 33 and 39. 34 and 41. I had 45 and 45. All right. So um, is somebody going to title till these up and tell us who our finalists are? Barry, you're the secretary. I, I need Or we could just call, or if you still have yours, we could just call out the numbers and that involves adding them up. Yeah, why don't we just do that? It to you. Here. Oh, let me write. How many entries were there? Eight. I'm not the treasurer, too. Here, I can help. All right, Heidi, you want to do this? Kinetic. 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 We'll go around the room. Oh, hang on. Give us the names of the artists. We'll do them in First the order. Messier. That we... Messier. Okay. Next one's going to be Vassar. 17. 
Bassa? Yes. Okay. Are we, do, are we doing Bassa now? One more Messier. One more Messier. Uh, 21. Okay. Um, Bassa is 8. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm probably 6, 17. Bassar? 8. 16. 10. 10. 12. Unfair black and white. And billboard. Eight. Fourteen. 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 Eight. Eleven. Aiken. Yeah. Seven. Eighteen. Seventeen. Clothesline, Alexi, Alexi. 38. 46. 45. 45. 36. 33. Wish fish. 38. 42. 41. 45. 38. So, was the score sheet helpful? Yes. It yes. It's a dead tie. Shut up. Yeah. Great. Well, you need it's the top three, right? Three. Oh yes, it is. It's a tie. Well, so it's clothesline, boy fishing, and the black and white are the top three. But all right. We weren't that far off. What's the next step? Yeah. Well, the next step is um, I have to take this contract and present it, call the three finalists and say, do you have any problems with this contract before we go further? Because you're a finalist. And um, I'm going to try and co collect the data that Tony needs from the, um, the, which one, uh, the laundry guy, right? The guy that's airing his dirty laundry. That's. Oh. <laughs> what data do I need? <laughs> that's what uh, we didn't have. Is uh, we didn't have. Somebody. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. I mean, he he really didn't give us anything. No time frame or budget. As close as you can get to what the budget is would be helpful because I need that for any application. Their budget, the budget is five thousand dollars. They don't have, we don't submit their no, budget. No, but they want it broken down in the application. Pick anyone, pick anyone, and make it come up to five thousand yeah. dollars. The, the the most detailed budget was all red, who really broke it down. Yeah, and he was Let's the use Osprey, that. wasn't he? He was what? Was and then the go Osprey? ahead and send yeah. that image. And if we if we send a different image, they're not gonna, they're either gonna support us or they aren't. Are you asking for the line? No. <laughs> Just checking. You know, this is use what we need. Send all three images. Say it's gonna be one of these three images. But I mean when when you're talking to the three finalists, you you know, if five thousand is the budget, yeah. then you need to tell them 
or ask them, can you do what you've given us for $5,000? Because it's not clear to me, particularly the guy who's, uh, who does all the black stuff, that he would get anywhere near budget. <laughs> well, and then the other thing is, what about the priming? That was only one guy. I think it was two. That was all right and Kyle. Oh, really? That had 400 in there. So I think that, I mean, personally, I think they should come to a wall that they can paint on. Right now. Well, that's not, good. That's not the way it's done. We can't go backwards now. We can, if we told everybody else that, then they might have done something different. And 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 er, most everybody has included priming the wall. So they're going to prime it themselves. Just tell me we we can't apply that service, and then can you still do it for for the five thousand dollars? What about asking the city to do it? Since they were going to give us six thousand, and now we could ask for like one thousand. I don't know. Do well, you know how the city was going to give us. To do it. You know, city, city wasn't going to give us anything. Well, I know, but I, if we ask them to help prime the wall. Actually, what, I, what I'd rather do is ask the Board of Public Works to prime it, because first of all, they, I mean, they it's, it's their building that they've let go downhill. Well, and, and they, and they basically to. should have it painted anyway. Yes, <laughs> and I agree. also, I already the talked to Darren about it. I said, Darren, you know, really, this is, this is, this is embarrassing to have such a, a, a decrepit piece of a wall in in the in the repertoire of the BPW. You should. You said, well, you know, we could come out here with the, with a lift and these high power thing. We could probably knock this off in a day and a half. So I'm going to ask him again, and I'll tell him give us a price because we can take some of our city budget because our city budget allows us to pay for infrastructure, but the politics of how that goes down is can be nasty. So we'll tr we're going to. You're talking about painting the back of the building just to just white. white. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just just spray it white. We're having a meeting tomorrow. Mark, I mean, uh, Wednesday morning. I will bring that up at the meeting. And That'd be a huge help. That's a good idea. Tell them how exciting. And we also, I mean, I met him. I met him over there, and that the house. He said the house would be moved by this weekend. Because don't worry about the house. That will get well, worry about the wall. Worry about the wall. The house will happen. To, we've got time for that. They have to paint. They have to move. They the have house to, to move paint the, the house to paint the wall. Yes, exactly. So if we ask them to paint the wall, the house will get moved. Just one thing at a time. One thing at a time. <laughs> I, I have a question. No, How will the artist no. be acknowledged? We'll will there be a plaque or a, something there? No. No. What was that? Oh, by the way, we're allowed to cut holes in the in the screening. The green screening, so people can see it if they want to get closer. You can paint people in there. We can. Three walls painted by for free. Right. Yes. So. So one wall, if you bring it up to. So paint, one wall. It, it's probably not meeting code right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go to the city. I'm gonna go to the well, city department, so building inspection better, department right, over there. So much more paint. We will have an opening. I, I think we'll. Yeah, I think we should generate publicity. I think we should definitely have an opening and have oh, yeah. a have a, um, a a party and BPW can supply the beer and wine. No, we're not asking for that. Just primer right now. Primer right now. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that I'll do beer and wine. You do primer. So. <laughs> well, we had wine at our last me meeting. You missed it. You didn't show up. <laughs> Don't worry, you're now invited. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else, guys? Thank you so you much. Do you want these numbers at all? Or uh, yeah, they, well, actually, get, get, we'll get them in a minute. But the, what, uh, what were the final numbers? Yeah, what were the final ones? Kinetic, 124. Right. Vassar, 65. See if you've got the same name. <laughs> um, black and white, 225. Berenson was 69. Bacon was 117, All Ride, All Read, 177, Alexi is 243, and uh, Wish was 243. 243, 243, and 225, they really are standout, three, three standout. So guys, I invite you to go over to the site between now and Thursday afternoon and Look at the wall and visualize it. 
and bring that information back because we're going to have to do this one more time. So um, can we just review the, the names of the top three? Um, oh, black, I just have black. Kyle, what's Kyle's last name? Uh, Kyle is uh, Confer, K-O-C-O-N-F-E-H-R. And then Alexi. The that's the um, black and. That's the black. And that's the black and white. Alexi, N A T C H E V, is the laundry man. And. And Wish. Bit. Wish is really a guy named. Um, Christian Kellenberg. Christian Kellenberg. He's the fishing boy. Yeah. I'm dying to find out what the state of Delaware is paying him to do a 10 foot by 10 foot mural. Because the other guy working next to him is coming from, he's thing. come from Texas. I only have this That's his company. Anybody else have anything to add to the party? So we'll meet again Thursday. Same time, same place. So we, do we do this again on Thursday? I think so. Oh, six o'clock? Okay. Okay. I thought the city thing said it was 9.30, but anyway. Uh, she, if she did, um, it's wrong. I, I, she might have did 9.30, oh, I but saw, it got I fixed. Saw, I just looked at it. Both were six. Yeah, we're both six. Uh, she did it. She got it wrong at once. Okay. We've had, we've not had good luck lately on the scheduling times six, and dates. Six o'clock Thursday. This was going to be Tuesday night, but um, that was for Rob Morgan, who had something else he had to do. So that's why it became Monday night. All right. Thank you very much, Tom. Tom. You're the first to know. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thank you for going to that meeting for me and filling for us primed wall. Love you. So. I mean, those are the three I liked, I guess, and it's the three that we all liked. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But I think going through the process was Isn't good. it nice we all are? I think. Like the oh, I think it's yeah. interesting how much agreement we have. So, uh, well, I didn't hear which one you liked of those three. No, I think, yeah. I actually did like the black and white ones.